This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Echo Arches. This design is stitched by first starting with an arch shape. So first start with kind of a curve, then come to a point, and then try and create kind of a symmetrical uh, other half, so another curve. So to stitch that again, we're going to come up with an arch, then you're going to travel stitch, and like all echoing designs, you're going to travel stitch and echo that arch shape as many times as you want. The number of echoes that you use with your echo arch will determine the texture that you're going to get. If you use only one or two echoes, you won't get as much all over multi-directional movement as you would if you use many, many echoes. So it's definitely something to play with. Uh, this is of course an echoing design and echoing designs typically work in all areas of your quilt and you can see how this can easily fit in and I'm squishing some lines in this little weird area and it's actually very easy to stitch in pretty much all areas even tight and complex areas. The one thing to keep in mind is that because you're starting with the initial arch and it's rather large, it is going to leave a kind of a pocket of openness on your quilt. You can see how those areas are fairly noticeable within this texture. So make sure that that's something you want whenever you're stitching this somewhere on your quilt. Now this design is going to have a very nice multi-directional movement and it can be easily scaled for any size quilt. So let's say you wanted to fit it into some place very small, you would stitch it on a small scale with maybe an eighth to a quarter of an inch between the lines of quilting. Now if you wanted to stitch it on a big scale, you would of course first start with a very big arch, maybe four or five inches long, and then you would widen your echoes out so they were about an inch to two inches, and that would fill a bed quilt quickly and beautifully. So here's what it looks like when you finish Echo Arches. For over 200 videos on free motion quilting, plus lots more information on how to finish your quilts, go to daystyledesigns.com.